Alright, so, let's evaluate some roots. Yeah, and I'm not talking about square roots anymore. I'm talking about cube roots and fourth roots and however many roots you want to go. Um, why don't we start up here? I'm looking for the cube root of 27. What the cube root does is you're looking for sets of three. You're looking for triples. For every one triple, one factor will get to come out. Sure, so we can break it down. Oh. This is three times three times three. Is that how the cube root of 27 breaks up? Oh yes, I do believe. There's um three copies of three. So one three gets to come out. And then, okay. Now I'm looking down here. I'm looking for the cube root of minus 64. We're looking for the number that will multiply by itself three times. Um, it's going to be minus 64. Sure. So then I'm looking at this. This is going to be the cube root of minus 4 times minus 4 times minus 4. Sure. Do I see a triple in there? Oh, I do. There's a triple right there. There's three minus 4s. So 1 minus 4 gets to come out for every 3 that are on the inside. So then, this is a, a minus 4. Sure. Then you do. Yeah. Let's take a look at the fourth root. The fourth root means that I need 4 copies. I need sets of 4s and factors. Uh-huh. So then we can break this down. Oh, this is going to be the fourth root of, is that two times two times two times two? Oh, I think it is. Here is one set of four. For every set of four factors, I can pull one out of the fourth root. So, this is two. Oh, and you do. I'm seeing a little hitch in my plan on this next one. Yeah. I'm looking for the fourth root of minus 16. So I'm looking for four copies of a factor that multiply to be minus 16. First you're thinking maybe it's minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2. Oh, but when you look at that, that's 1, 2, 3, 4 negatives, hence making it a positive 16. And 2 is not going to work either. You're seeing whenever the, the index is even, you can't take an even root of a negative radicand, at least not in the real space. So this is just not real. We will, however, get into some imaginary numbers. You mean like Snuffleupagus? <laughs> Big Bird's imaginary friend. Sure, okay. I am aware that they had to make him a real character because he was messing up the kids. Let's come up to here. This next one is a real character. Yeah, I'm looking for this guy. Oh, boy. here I do see. Here I do see. This is going to be, um, wait for it. That's the third root of y, 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 y. Because y is to the third power. That means I have three copies of y. That means for every triple, one gets to come out. Yes, there's your y. And you know, down here. Oh, way. Now, here we have the fourth root of something to the fourth power. That's gonna be, that's gonna be, that's gonna be, uh-huh. That's the absolute value of x. Why? Check out the explaining absolute value video. If you have time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six flowers, more fun. Thank you.